guys, it's Sarah from All Converse Ladies, and today we're going to talk about kin. But before we do that, let's be a bit happy about the greenness that we have. Well, that's a bit awkward because there's a lot of red in the top 10, but it happens to a little pullback. It's okay. So, Kin is number two, currently the one of the biggest gainers of the last 24 hours. The reason why Zcash is number one is because it was listed on Gemini alongside with Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. So, we can see a bit of a pan, which is quite good, obviously. So, Kin is currently trading at 79 position with a market cap of 248 million and kin is basically a sort of an old coin that facilitates transactions within the kick ecosystem and they're basically planning a fork from stellar to steer clear of potential issues of scalability and high transaction fees kin was originally developed as an erc20 token but as time progressed developers soon realized the limitation of the Ethereum blockchain in their relation to its scalability and transaction speeds. In a statement made by Ted Livingston, which is the CEO and founder of Kik, he made it abundantly clear that Kin needs to be scaled now. And he also added that most crypto projects to date have been technology driven first and product driven second. Kin has always been the opposite, said Livingston in a statement. Our goal is for Kin to be most used cryptocurrency in the world and the sterile blockchain will help us get there sooner, which is obviously a great show of what, how good sterile blockchain obviously is. So let's go back a bit to the Ken, which was basically made as a medium for facilitating customer buying and spending within the Kick platform. The parent organization overseeing development of this token, which is the Kin Foundation, announced on Tuesday last week that it will fork Stellar to create its own unique blockchain. This new blockchain will be free from any kind of transaction charges, basically, and will be operated with, via permission nodes. So when talking about Kin, we can't basically forget about Kik, which is a, basically a wildly used smartphone messaging service that boasts of having over 300 million active users. When using Kik, customers can basically earn Kin tokens for making contribution to the native community, which can then be spent in exchange for goods and services within the platform ecosystem. For example, the tokens can be exchanged for additional paid content, services, and can even be used to compensate developers and content creators to their offerings. Also, what is worth mentioning is that Kin succeeded a former currency known as Kickpoint, which launched in 2015 and was used within the popular messenger service for facilitating all internal transactions. So, a lot of you could think like what actually the fork will achieve and i think it's a very good question to ask so currently kin adheres to the erc20 token standards which seem to be the cause of some concern for the developers of these tokens they are now reconsidering the future of kin in light of the ethereum's current scalability issues while the developers of kin had earlier plan to transition exclusively to the stellar network this approach was later refined and now the team has decided to have a two-chain system in which the kin token would operate in a parallel on both the stellar and the ethereum network um, Stellar, though, is not free of its own problems, and as Bernath left, the currency continues to face its own share of business scalability issues. But I'm sure they'll sort it out. Stellar is an absolute brilliant crypto. I really enjoy reading the white paper ones. As a quick summary, it's Kin is set to offer users with a bi directional blockchain support, which means that consumer facing applications will make use of the company's prioritary kin network instead of the one deployed by Stellar. So if you guys got any questions about how it'll work, when it'll happen and everything, leave a comment guys, let me know. Do you guys hold any kin? I know uh, kin is one of all coins and all coins usually go quite badly when Bitcoin goes down and a lot of investments are made below 100. Well, kin is not in over, it's in 100. But loads of those coins went really down. So if you invested in around January time, you're probably really low with it. But it's a great project, so don't give up on it, guys. But besides that, I also got another reason for the pump, in my opinion, is the fact that we've got also consensus, obviously absolutely brilliant even everyone's talking about it, everyone is there. My FOMO is absolutely enormous about it, but it's a different story. And also it's worth mentioning, I think, that the 
CEO of Kin will be talking about before crypto and after crypto. So I'm sure it'll be on Tuesday. I'll be tomorrow. He'll be talking. And if you guys are there, it's definitely worth going to. Or you can just listen to it live. I think it's a great promotion for such a great crypto like Kin. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the current situation. Is it a good idea that I have? Leave a comment. Remember to subscribe to our channel. If you're not following me on Twitter yet, follow me at All Queen Sarah. And remember to follow All Compass Ladies as well, where you can get the latest posts and videos that I do make. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.